Mm -hmm. Welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, we basically saw the meteorite, got buzz buzz, and basically started our whole adventure. And uh, this part, we're gonna basically get our whole get the get the whole adventure started. And guess what? Most annoying things in Earthbound. This guy, this is the picture guy. He doesn't have an official name, so I'm just gonna call him Derek, basically with this spelling. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do so say so myself. Okay, here we finish the memory. Look at your camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles! Oh, what a great photograph. It always brings back the fondest of memories. I've always pictured that's what his voice sounds like. Now, if we go into our own home... I just love the music right here, by the way. It is like pure brilliance. Like, uh, we can also call her dad, but like, um, you're back. Don't bother you yourself. We're talking now. You look too tired. Mother doesn't say anything. Eat some candy and scoot up to bed. That's one of the ways we can heal in this area. We can basically talk to our mom and we can basically heal for free. There will be hotels later on that will basically get, let us, um, basically heal but charge. They'll charge for it. Is my oh, it's my line now. Oops. What do you want me to do? Store, check out. We, we're not gonna do that just yet. You want to do that when your inventory starts getting full, which uh, knowing what we already have in inventory, it can start to get full pretty quickly. At the king, I don't want to go out anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I'm a stubborn mutt. Yeah. I meant to say Sparky, not King, because that's what we named them. Anyway, so I guess I'm going to fight another sp- I guess I'm going to fight another Spiteful Crow, because, like, um, the interesting thing is... The way you gain money in this game is not from- is mo- is not just from fighting enemies. They go into your bank account when you beat enemies, um... When you beat enemies, the money basically goes into your bank account. We want to get a very specific amount of money. So we can get it. So we can get a really good item once we're in. Uh, once we go to the shop, and we explore a bit of on it. And this is the uh, place area, and this is another one. This is a runaway dog. It's just gonna give us some good. At least it's gonna give us some good. Um, some good. Def some good XP. One thing I should also alert you on is that dying is something you do not want to do in this game. Is because if you die. Notice that we're at $20 right now. If you die, you lose half your money. So, um, yeah, dying can be a very consequential situation right now. I've talked to this guy. A library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. You can borrow maps or nothing. Now, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of fourth wall breaks in this game. This is just the first of them we've seen. But if we go to the library and, uh, go to the library right here, talk to this woman. Kids can borrow only maps at this library. Do you want to borrow one? Here's a map. One I doesn't even know. There are basically two ways to basically um get get the guy get a good experience in this. There's the map, which shows the map of on it, but like one of the ways also Nintendo intended you to play this game was to use the official player's guide, which I do not own. Uh, at Giant Step, there's a monster grinding spot from the outside world. No one knows what monster made Giant Step's territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. Now, a part of the Earthbound experience is reading the player's guide because it came with every copy, you know, the 100,000 ones that were sold in America. So, um, basically, if you can, I think you can also read the strategy guide for free online. And I would recommend doing so also. A man, if you were, it's useless talking to him now. Now, uh, so that's out uh, of the library, but like, um, I won't kill. And on it, I kind of want to get rid of a few more enemies so it can get me a... Oh, I gotta go to here. Ness, I'm doing watch out duty for the hideout. Can you take over? No. You're busy, I understand. Now, one thing I recommend doing is going to this area and then going up to these trees and into this house. Talk to the kid with the baseball cap. I'll give you a minute to the baseball cap. I know it's one here for a long time. It's the best cap is I'm really brave like you. He's not, he's understating, like, this is one of the best, this is one of the best defensive items we can get at this point in the game. It raises our defense from 2 to 8. I did dream about you and you were traveling with a cute girl. It's a dream come true to say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. 
You've grown since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, so... I'm just gonna get rid of a few more enemies so I can get more mo Not really s not as much- Oh, a new enemy! We never saw this earlier, but like, um... This is the Coil Sig. They can- They can basically go around you and, uh, solidify you, and this is basically the first status condition. It basically costs you your turn if you get solidified. And notice how since we have the Mr. Baseball Cap on, these enemies are doing way less damage. Can we talk to him? I'm not your enemy, I'm certainly your average one of mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Listen carefully. My hand is when you're waiting, when you're facing a battle, when your enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise or may attack. When they approach you from your way, your TV screen, this way, your TV screen, no, no, I mean the world in front of you, you will show a red scroll for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise to opening an attack. In that case, your TV, oops, again, the world in front of you shows a green swirl. The point is, try to fight so that you always have the advantage. That is two fourth wall breaks in one NPC. Like, they go, they go all in on the fourth wall breaks, I'll say that. The arcade is full of sharks, I can't play there. Next time you're on a trash can and a hammer. This is one of, our, this is one of the new items we can get in this game. Now, you can show info in the iron by hitting help. Hamburger, when eating you recover about 50 HP, 100% beef. Now this is the burger shop. Now we're not gonna buy anything from here, we're just gonna talk to the NPCs. Do you get more food value at 14 bucks worth of burgers or eight than eight bucks worth of french fries? Just better more energy to eat better foods. I don't think you get value you get benefit in either fast food. You know, you have more health to be at more expensive food. I'm so much I'm so much more relaxed here. They never asked me, would you like fries with that shake? Seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. Now, if we talk to her, hello, man, take your order. Smile, smile. For you. We have the can of fruit juice, the cup of coffee, the bag of fries, and the hamburger. We're not going to buy any of those just yet. Because I'm mainly focused on buying one item, which is in the drugstore. Now, uh, you can call your dad right here. Get your dad deposit pay one of your accounts. Take one, you should have, uh, 81 in the bank account. So, um, yeah. So, um, we can get expensive item, but the problem is we can't get both items. So we have to kind of strategize. So we, we're going to take all $81 out. What can I do for you? Anyway, so we're going to get the uh, cheap bracelet. If you can get both the Mr. Baseball cap and the cheap bracelet, you'll be a defensive tank for this point in the game. We can't get the T-Ball back just yet, but that's okay because we can get them later. We only have $2, like, um... And also, one way you can also get, get money is all you can sell items. Like, we're gonna sell these cookies. We're just- because I don't think we need them anymore. I didn't mean- I don't mean to buy buy, but like, um, we're gonna sell these cookies. There's items you can sell, and there's items you can't sell, and that's gonna be what Tracy's use is for. Anyway, so now we go further down on that. What's this old one say? One of your friends becomes unconscious. You should visit them at the hospital. You should check with the nurse or second agent to release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember. It's all right if you get. They basically give you game mechanics on what you, what the game's gonna be like this later on. Everyone has the shark's boss hanging out near the giant step. What's the dog have to say? Oh wow! Don't you think you need a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells so things you can use? I knew about it. Yes, I did know that. Now, when you go about around here, now. I WANT to go to the bakery! First, what does this person have to say? There's right, a guy who stops to read each bulletin before it even counts, and then he says, Check a Rooney, is that you? Oh, oh. The road's closed again. It's on its claim to fame. The road to Tucson is closed. You can't just squeeze through Roblox either. It's on its famous for Roblox. Don't talk to me, I'm on duty. Unless I have Chief Strong's permission, I can't let you through. So we cannot go through there just yet, but we are gonna go to the bakery, because, um, let's just say... This is a popular NPC in the game, for those that have played the game. We're gonna talk to her. Tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup. But I won't, because I want I don't want to bother you with a story that has nothing to do with your adventure. If I keep talking about unrelated stuff, you might start ignoring important messages. It's important for you to talk to people. There's also, a person might give you a different message, depending on what you speak to them. So yeah, uh, they're gonna... 
This game basically recommends talking with as many NPCs as possible. It seems like every bakery must be making lucky sandwiches these days. They're kind of like fortune cookies, so you can win stuff. Oh yeah, and it's a sandwich, so okay, so maybe it's not like a fortune cookie. Anyway, the best time is that you can recover PP. I wish I knew what PP was. Cottage cheese on bread. You haven't tried it? It's the late craze in culinary circles. Talk to the baker. Hello, may I help you? What should I get you? Now we have the cookie, the bread roll, skip sandwich, and the lucky sandwich. The lucky sandwich gives you a uh, basically random number in HP or and or PP it will recover. Definitely one of my favorite items to use. And skip sandwich makes you gives you a little bit of HP and makes you go faster. But um, anyway, so um, I'll kind of um, we're gonna be fighting the first sharks. I want to get now. I want to teach you something. If you feel there's too many enemies on the screen, just walk off the screen and come back and there's two instead of four. So, um, yeah, so get, let's get out of that. Now, the Skate Punk is basically, um, the first out of many enemies that, uh, the first out of many enemies that will drop what is called a 1 in 128 item. Certain enemies will have a 1 in 128 chance of dropping certain items. In this case, the skate pump has a 1 in 28 chance of dropping the pizza. We're talking about a 0 .007 chance this item drops. And now, it is a common Earthbound challenge also to go for all of these. Now, um... Wow, we took one damage, but um, yeah, but like... It is a common challenge in Earthbound among Earthbound players to go for all the 128 items. I don't recommend doing it your first playthrough, and I've never actually done it myself, but like, um... Escape on being tame, and uh, I think I'm gonna have to, uh... I'll just get rid of the Yes Man Jr., because I find him the bigger threat. Problem is, we don't have the, we don't have the uh, baseball cap. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. I'm gonna use PSI Life Up. Thank God he missed, otherwise we would have died right away. Yeah, these battles can be chaotic, and that's why I recommend getting all these items. The Yes Man Jr. became tame. Now, uh, we're just gonna use our hamburger. Now, we should be able to get a level up out of this. Problem is, we don't have the stronger baseball bat, which we're gonna have to go back to the drugstore to get it. Now, warning, this can- these uh, these enemies are a big step up in difficulty for what we're, what we're used to fighting, so definitely equip yourself before it's facing these enemies. Vogue Pump game tame. Now, I'm very surprised I was able to take these out. We got 40 XP and Nestor to level 4! Oh baby! Offense went up by 5, defense went up by 2, speed went up by 2, guts went up by 1, luck went up by 2, max HP went up by 2, max- We realized the power of Hypnosis Alpha. Now, now we got some really good enemies out of the way. I am going to go back to the drugstore to see if I can buy the stronger baseball bat. It's, it's only gonna be a very short walk, but like, we should have enough money to get it. Now we fought three sharks. They drop a lot of money. Now, even if you're like trying to do not trying to do the one in one hundred twenty-eight challenge, like um, you can still just grind these things and just like there's the T-ball bat, but uh, in our offense we're changing from thirteen to seventeen, we, and we can also buy our crack bat. But um, anyway, so um, what I'm trying to say is that um, even if you're not doing the one in one hundred twenty-eight challenge. You can still just farm, you can still easily just farm money by constantly fighting sharks. Now, because I always said, I calculated it, it's a 0 0.7 chance these things, up, these items drop. So, you're looking at like, you're looking like, finding a 1 in 128 item can take anywhere between 5 minutes or like an hour or two at most. And there is usually one 128 item I usually go for. They're gonna leave a present. Now, these these enemies have a chance of dropping the hamburger. The hamburger is definitely a great item for this part of the game. In fact, I'm going to use one. I just want to fight some sharks mainly to get up a few levels. This is Skate Punk. Now, um, I don't expect to get the pizza, and also, once you beat the boss of the sharks, you have no chance left to get the pizza out of these Skate Punks.
Went up to level five. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by 13. Max HP went up by five. Now, um... The last place we haven't checked that, and uh, we got the can of fruit juice. The last place we haven't checked in on it is the pizza shop. Open soon, Mac Pizza on it branch. Okay, I'm gonna do more enemy manipulation. Okay, they're no longer there. So, um, we're gonna send them to the game corner because I don't really want to get the worm from him. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. You engage the pogo punk. And we got a smash attack. That's our first. We instant we instantly won the battle and we get a hamburger. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You sound like a real whiner to me. Do you get lippy or I'll kick your butt? Now this guy. Hey kid, you wanna be a member? Yes. Come back after you finish Earthbound. So that is yet another fourth wall break. That's like four in this part alone. Hey, can you want to become a member? No. Don't be such a snob. Anyway, he's gonna chop for a battle. This is a Yes Man Jr. Now, uh, because we're all defensed up and we're all offense up, these guys should not be a problem. Now, how close are we to a level up? Um, I wanna say, um, yeah, I'd say the boss should get us a level. Anyway, so, um, this is the leader of the sharks. And Frank, you are... Come on, can't you at least say your name? Anyway, so this is one of the theories as to why this game has not gotten a re-release. This is a remix of Johnny B. Good by Chuck Berry. And, uh, knowing how Chuck Berry during his life was notorious for, uh, not allowing his music be, like, using, like, media. He barely even allowed his music to be used in Back to the Future. Like, that's how strip he was. But, like, that is one of the theories, even though I think it's been proven false. Now, um, because he can do anywhere between 9 damage or 20 damage. I'm just gonna use a life up. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna kind of save my, uh, life ups because there's gonna be a second phase as boss and we can get a smash attack and Frankie and tame. We don't get a level up under this, but we're gonna get a level up out of the, this next part. Fail proof, Frank, maybe puff, puff, and this is Frankenstein Mark II. Frankie Power Mark II attack. Anyway, so now, um, he's gonna generate a burst of scene. That's kinda, he'll kinda like bur generate a burst of scene, then just, then throw, then throw a punch like that. Now we're gonna eat one of our hamburgers, or. You kind of want to, like, um, heal yourself while he's kind of stop- kind of preparing his attack. Or attack him if you're full on HP. And he was destroyed! Ness is level now level 6. Offense went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. Luck went up by 1. Max HP went up by 3. Max PP went up by 1. This is my first defeat. Fail proof Frank is now just failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power is stored there. It allows certain people to form wondrous feats. However, a monster sucked us up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to go to the giant step, that's all I know. I suggest you get more collect more information on your own. The entrance of that leading to the giant step is behind the Torian Entertainer's shack. Perkle, the mayor of Onet, has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Ness thing is an appropriate time. Also, side note. Actually, I think we gotta leave and come back to get it to work. Um, if we revisit Frank, you look much stronger. Would you like a rest? He can give free rest, so you don't have to go to the hotel. Yes, you're not stronger than I. Your adventure's just beginning. Now, um, I think we'll lay it off in this part of, uh, Earthbound. So, uh, next time on Earthbound, um, we're gonna go towards the, uh, the giant steps. I'll see you guys next time.